Are you serious? Are you serious? We've got some serious weather to take a look at, including sunspots that have made an enormous impact upon the face of the sun. I want to thank Ricardo Herrera and Stephen of Oklahoma for some information coming about this very subject. First of all, two people are dead. Get some coffee. In the Great Smoky Mountains in Nashville, or Nashville, in Tennessee. Hang on. There's been... Uh, at least two people have been killed as a violent thunderstorm struck the Great Smoky Mountain National Park. Uh, a man was killed. He was 41. Um, he was on a motorcycle. And also a 41-year-old woman was killed as they were struck by a fallen tree. The names of the victims were withheld while their family members had been told. The storm struck Thursday evening at the West End last night of the 500,000 acre park of the Smoky Mountains along the Tennessee-North Carolina border. Most of the damage appeared to be in the populous Katie's Cove area and in communities just outside the park boundaries. Storm hit around uh, 6 o'clock. So we've got these violent storms going on in the Great Smoky Mountains in the Tennessee-North Carolina area. Also, sunspots, sunspots, folks. Uh, active sunspot shoots off intense new solar flares. The sun fired off yet another intense solar flare today, which was yesterday, July the 5th. The latest in a series of storms from a busy sunspot being closely uh, watched by space telescopes and astronomers. Now, NASA's Solar Dynamic Observatory snapped a daunting new image of a strong M-class solar flare. I'm going to show it to you in a second. That peaked this morning at 7.44 a.m. The M61 flare triggered a moderate radio blackout that has since subsided, according to officials at NASA. And the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. The eruption came from a sprawling sunspot called Active Region 1515, which has been particularly dynamic this week. In fact, the sunspot region has now spewed 12 M-class solar flares since July 3rd. Listen to that. 12 M-class solar flares since July 3rd, according to NASA officials in a statement. Now, the sunspot region is huge, stretching more than 62,137 miles long in length. So, uh, a tremendous amount of energy coming from off these uh, flares and sunspots. I'm going to show you a small picture here, but... Um, you can see the activity there. Wow. Unbelievable activity coming off the sun. So something to keep an eye on, something to watch what's going on. It's affecting radio uh, waves, satellite television communications, cell phones. Uh, there's no question there's being an effect by these very active sun flares, these solar flares, if you will, upon a very active sun. But the Bible did say in Luke 21, 25, there'll be signs in the sun, the moon, and the stars, and the stress of nations with great perplexity, and the sea and the waves roaring. So we'll just keep an eye on these issues as we move forward um, with biblical prophecy and end-time scenarios of things that are taking place around the globe. I got one more piece of information I do want to share with you coming out of Syria. Stephen of Oklahoma got this to me earlier this morning. But Syrian soldiers have now attacked five Turkish trucks. Uh, the drivers did manage to escape, but five Turkish trucks have been attacked by Syrian soldiers. The Turkish drivers managed to escape with the help of free Syrian army. So the rebels, the people, the rebels 
army, the re those who are revolting and rebelling against President Assad, were able to s rescue these five Turkish truck drivers who were being attacked by Syrian soldiers. As the Syrian military forces suddenly started shooting at their trucks, and all five vehicles were now unstable, the men added that the group of FSA, or Free Syrian Army, Fighters helped them escape safely and escort them to the Turkish border. So the war, to me, the wheels are falling off Assad's regime. Again, the wheels are falling off President Assad's regime as Russia has turned its back on Assad. China has washed its hands of Assad. And it looks as if Russia has put all of their eggs in the Iranian basket and are going to put their resources and their protective covering, if they can, around President Ahmadinejad of Iran and their supreme Islamic spiritual leader, the Ayatollah Khomeini, and their uh, aggressive position that Iran has to develop nuclear weapons, threat its constant threat of Israel, and how that relates to the entire region including the United States of America and the West with NATO and their pursuit to try to keep Iran from acquiring nuclear capabilities and the ability to pro uh, provide themselves with their own nuclear systems. It looks as if Russia will sell their S-300 uh, missile defense systems into Iran, thus setting the stage for a major Middle East conflict between the United States of America and its NATO forces of, of England and France, Canada and Australia, and their closest ally, Israel, would all be teaming up against Iran and its allies of Russia and China. This is very, very, very disturbing times that we're in right now. I'll be right back. I'm Pastor Beck. I've got some breaking information from Libya. Bible prophecy in the process of fulfilling itself. The fierce king, the cruel lord of Egypt, is going to rise. And it's not just Egypt that he's going to manage. You'll see. He said it with his own words. He wants to build a United States of Arabs. And where Sharia law is and jihad is the path, and Sharia law is their constitution through the Quran. I'll be right back. I'm Pastor Bagley. Are you saved? We have violent storms, sunspots disrupting potentially satellites and communications from the sun, wars and rumors of wars in the Middle East. I'll be right back. If you're not saved, give your life to Jesus Christ. You can contact me if you want to, and I'll help you. We had five people saved yesterday. Two on our, <clears throat> excuse me, two on our live radio broadcast that we do, our live show at my website at paulbegleyprophecy.com. That's www.paulbegleyprophecy.com. We're also live streaming with live chat, live video and audio, not only at my website at paulbegleyprophecy.com, but at blog TV and at livestream.com. And we're on radio at blog talk radio coming apocalypse, uh, the link's below, and we are also streaming live on radio on TalkStream Live. You can listen to our broadcast there also. God bless. I'll see you guys later.